All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with something special because, yeah, when you see a box like this, yeah, you should know there's going to be something special on the inside. This is the custom division by Shirogoro of Stellaris. We're going to check it out in a second. But as usual, guys, uh, you know what you can do in the meanwhile? You can check out um, at on Instagram. That's... Uh, that's a nice account, I believe. I don't know, a good guy. Uh, he's taking some nice pictures of uh, some knives and fidget toys. And also, if you're in the market, you can also check out uh, fablades.com. There might be some interesting uh, things you can find there. So you get uh, this double uh, box with the tray, uh, custom division logo right there, microfiber cloth, uh, certificate of authenticity right over here. And then you get, yeah, you get this, uh, you get this thing uh, in the box, which is incredible. Uh, you get 95, uh, I would say, yeah, 10 centimeters uh, uh, blade length and 95 um, millimeters uh, uh, of cutting edge and 12 centimeters for the handle. Overall, this fella is 21 centimeters. But if you see, like, for example, neon or Hattie, uh, you realize that the Stellaris is right in between these two pretty popular sizes, and that's a great thing. There's another size right up here, and that's the 111, which I don't have right here. There's another one actually technically a 110, one millimeter shorter than the absent knife right up there, but these are probably the most uh, um, common sizes you can find. Um, another couple I want to show you right over here. Got a couple from US and this is the Holt Haptic and that's the Holt Spectre. And uh, just a couple from Canada. Fancy ones. Uh, Lambert Augustus and uh, Peter Assenti. Large Nirvana 4. But we are here to check out this beast. Uh, this is uh, something uh, truly spectacular because uh, it's the Stellaris from Shirogoro Custom Division. So uh, you probably know the Stellar, which is a uh, uh, same uh, size knife, uh, same handle shape, a little bit different blade, but full tie uh, inset liner. This is an inset liner, but with a carbo tie set of scales. So the weight is going to be ridiculously uh, lower. And... Uh, uh, it's uh, just a work of art. Uh, also, carbo tie scales are present in the Hattie Magnetic right over here. Same materials, uh, but as you can see, there is a different uh, in the color because this is like carbon fiber uh, with some uh, titanium dust, I believe, which can be also anodized to a color and just get like this hue on this handle, which is really good. It kind of like, it's like a full dress knife, right? Like there's some um, patterns going on on the handle. Of course, you have this dense uh, Dama steel uh, pattern on the blade. It's just like pretty busy if you want, but at the same time, it's ba well balanced. Uh, you get this handle, which is sculpted in 3D to uh, a level that it's like hard to describe. Uh, this is the titanium dust, uh, and you can see that there is uh, milling lines which are running uh, across this way. There's uh, chamfering, like hollow 3D chamfers right here, right there. Uh, contouring is exceptional, internal chamfering. You get some internal skeletonization. Um, you get uh, a level of finish that is... Uh, unheard of. There's nobody, I believe, or I mean, if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. But I don't believe there's anyone uh, capable right now of reaching this kind of level, especially if you consider the table price, because this fella at table price is going to be 1600 bucks, 1700 bucks, which is a lot of money, I know. But the price that this thing commands on the secondary market is more than double that. So keep that in mind. There's going to be 50 made of these. Uh, this is the number one, as you can probably see right there. So you see CD2202 number one, which means custom division. 22 is 20, 22. Zero 02 is the second model released in 2022. And zero 01 is the first uh, um, model, uh, the first uh, sample, let's say, of this model right here, which is the Stellaris. So, 
uh, Stellar is, uh, is uh, the composite handled version of the Stellar, um, uh, which is uh, has a little bit different milling, has a different blade. This jimping, yeah, that's a nice jimping. The jimping on the Stellar probably is not the best. I mean, in my opinion, it's just very short. Um, but let's go, you know, slow. Let's go in order. We get, let's check the handle first because it's just like a work of art. I mean, look at this darkened uh, titanium pivot collar uh, with the um, with titanium hardware. Look at this nice contrast going on matching the clip, the backspacer, and the Chicago screw from uh, for the um, body. You have a lanyard all option going through the backspacer, which is pretty thin, very, very nice. I believe uh, that the blade uh, thickness also is thinner. Let me see if I'm... I think that's, yeah, three millimeters. I think the Stellar is 3.5, so a little bit thicker than this. Um, this guy has some nice flats going on. Uh, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, really, really, uh, yeah, spectacular. Um, something that is truly stunning, and you cannot really appreciate here in this video because I need to open up this guy, and you can check my maintenance video to admire the inside of this thing. So just think about that. This is the inset lock bar. This inset lock bar has internal milling as skeletonization to reduce the weight, but that's okay. This lock bar has internal milling inside the milling pockets, and that is like unheard of. I mean, what? Who cares about? Yeah, they do, but it's not over. They weren't happy enough, so they decided to go with a dual tone finish milled, milled pocket inset lock bar it's crazy nobody's doing a level this kind of level of finish i was like really mesmerized you get uh, satin flats and blasted pockets with the internal milling in a lock bar that is inset and nobody can see it this is true uh, dedication this is uh, uh, wanting to uh, bring uh, more innovation raising the bar and they are doing it hidden pocket screw for this deep carry pocket people look at the micro milling going on right over here gorgeous gorgeous work um you get uh, also like this plate with the shiro gorov logo which is uh, probably glued in i don't see any screw so it's probably going to be epoxied uh, there because there's uh, they change they're not gonna uh, engrave uh, carbon fiber anymore but they are opting for this kind of detail that i really appreciate um the, um, I mean, this thing is just gorgeous. This blade shape is fantastic. Pretty much 70% belly up to the sharpening choil. Not really a finger choil, but you can kind of use it. Classic uh, plunge grind in the Shirogor of tradition. Uh, this flipper tab, guys. Let's just uh, check the profile, check the jimping. So it starts from here and ends there. What does it mean? Always look at the jimping to understand the geometry, the deployment. So what, what does it mean? You can push, you can light switch, and uh, you can do something else. So of course, light switch is gonna work like that. That's very good. Push button, of course, is gonna work like that. Very nice. But there's another method and I call it the drag back. <laughs> it's kind of like a mixture of a, a, a push button like in this direction and a, a, a light switch in that direction. So this is like a push light kind of way in that direction. So you basically just, you just drag this down and it's gonna stop there. And this is like my preferred method, look at this. So push button, it just goes down, but this way it just, you, you kinda, you, you, you drag it this way and that is like very different. So you can be like this, you see, now I just fail it, but like that, you see, great. It's like very similar to the push button. We can just do just like this goes down, but this you just drag back and it's a different feeling. I don't know how to explain. Maybe I sound silly, but trust me, it's a different feel in the hand. So uh, great, great flipper tab. I really love uh, this uh, change, uh, changed uh, geometry. Let's check the sound because, ooh, schlack and clink and schlack. It is a fantastic clack. 
it's loud it means we are in business guys let's uh, i want to check the weight first um and see in grams because this thing is gonna be 86.9 grams guys this is 3.06 ounces uh yeah that is light uh, but it's solid it's sturdy there's nothing flexing this backspacer geared up is truly truly stunning i don't really see any hot spots in the hand this is great feels amazing in the hand reverse grip yeah the the jimping is finally um effective i like there is not much bite to it but definitely better than the stellar um very very nice and balanced you get some texture going on on the scale and this thing is like absolutely well put together there's nothing rattling uh, this thing is fantastic there is a detent ball ramp which is pretty much like you can't even feel like when the the detent ball is going onto the ramp um this guy of course is running on single row roller bearings because it's a custom division and uh, yeah, that is going to be the action, really la uh, high lateral stability. There's no blade play, no lock rock, no flex, nothing. This thing is solid, I'm telling you. It's light, it's gorgeous. It has uh, all the bells and whistles from the custom division lineup from uh, Shirogorov. And uh, this is the Stellaris with the beautiful Dama steel blade, carbo tie, uh, handle, titanium, min set, lock. Guys, stunner. Check it out. So there you have it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.